Did Ted get in yet, Mayor? No, not yet. Gee, I don't get it. Usually on the day they announce the nominees for the Teddy Awards, he's the first one in. Yeah. You don't suppose, Murray, after all these years, Ted finally doesn't care whether or not he's nominated? Oh, who knows? <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm sorry I'm late. I stopped off at church. <laughs> Prayed my guts out. Any word on the nominations? Uh, not yet, Ted. Any minute. Well, I sure hope I win a nomination. I promised God if I won, I'd send an underprivileged kid to disc jockey school. <laughs> Why do some people get so excited about these awards? I mean, for one thing, they're very unfair. You have never been nominated as best news writer, and I don't think that's right. Well, I don't know. But I can't help wanting to get at least one nomination. Yeah, I used to feel that way every year, too. But not this year. I'm not going to get all caught up in that craziness. Well, that's because you're a shoe in this year. No, Murray. It's because I feel I did a good job. So it doesn't matter whether or not I'm nominated. Well, you know, you're being very mature about that. Yeah. Hey, the nominations are in. Hey, I've been nominated hot buns. <laughs> well, uh, what about the writing? Oh, uh, let's, who got see. Writing let's see. Let's see. Zuma, zuma, zuma. Here it is. Nominations for Best Writer, News or Documentary, Harold Renner, Lester Hawker, oh, yeah, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Murray Slaughter! Oh. <laughs> I can't believe I've been nominated, Ted! <laughs> I've been nominated! <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, hey, thanks a lot, Mary. Thanks a lot. Hey, how about this? That's terrific. Hey, listen, don't you want to see if you were nominated? Ah, no, not really. Like I said, I think everyone takes them much too seriously. You weren't nominated. You gotta be kidding. Well, just Murray and me and uh, Sue Ann Nivens for Best Daytime Program. Well, as I said, I think we all take these things much too seriously. It doesn't matter. Right, uh, it's not the end of the world. Right, exactly. Let me see that again. Mary, if you went to church more often, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Lou, did you hear the great news? You're quitting. <laughs> no, I've been nominated for another Teddy Award. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, any calls, Mary? No, hey, Mr. Grant, huh? Murray got a nomination, too. Hey, no kidding? Well, congratulations, <laughs> Murray, you <laughs> son of a gun. Thanks, I'm really sir. proud of you. That's terrific. <laughs> sure, sure, make a fuss over Murray. I always knew it. Ball-headed guys are clannish. <laughs> Oh, it's nice to see that you're still cheerful after not being nominated for a Teddy Award. As I was. <laughs> Mary, this is Doug Kellum, Mary Richards. Mm -hmm. Mary, Hi, Doug. Nice to meet you. Doug is from Saskatchewan. He was on my show last week when I was demonstrating how to cook without a kitchen. <laughs> we just sort of hit it off, didn't we, Doug? Mm, you know it, honey. <laughs> I've been teaching uh, Sue Ann the joys of the great outdoors. And I've been teaching him the joys of the great indoors. <laughs> is Lou in? Yeah, he is. Oh, Mary, I'm going to have to hurt him so. I, I promised him I'd go to the awards with him, and now Dougie wants to take me in. Well, it's terrible when you have to break one man's heart to satisfy another man's desires. <laughs> How lucky you are you won't ever have that problem. <laughs> Come in. Lou, I'm afraid I have bad news for you. It's really terrible, and I, I just can't put off telling you any longer. What? What's, what's wrong? What is it? Well, you know that date we have. What date? The, the, this year's Teddy Awards. When do we make that date? Don't you remember? No, when? At last year's awards. I said, maybe we should go together this year. <laughs> well, you said, sure, we'll see. So, we do have a date. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. And, and that's the bad news? No, the bad news is I'm going to have to break the date. <laughs> oh, Sue Ann. Oh, darn it. Uh, I mean, you make a date. And I look forward to it for a whole year. And then you just breeze in here at the last minute. Oh, I'm so angry. Lou, you are in pain. Mm. Which, of course, delights me, but I, I just can't go with you. I, you see, I... How can I make this easy for you? I've met someone better. <laughs> and then uh, my Indian guide turns to me and he says, uh, your guess as good as mine. 
Dougie, this is Lou Grant. Oh, how you doing, Polly? Hi, Dougie. <laughs> I was just telling Mary about the time my canoe capsized, zooming down the Colorado Rapids. No kidding. Yeah, yeah, but luckily my Indian guide had a wooden leg, and we both held on to it and uh, managed to stay afloat. <laughs> an instinct for survival. Yeah, it's gonna come in handy. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, what do you do for a living? Ah, uh, you name it, I've done it. Oh, uh, salesman? No. <laughs> Labor? No. Uh, factory worker? No. Truck driver? No. What have you done? You name it. <laughs> Excuse us, I have to get back to the studio. Uh, yeah. Oh, and Lou, thanks for being so understanding about the Teddy Awards. And you cheer up. One day you'll meet a wonderful, sexy, beautiful woman who'll make you forget me. In the meantime, why don't you take Mary? <laughs> You want to go to the awards with me? Oh, come on, Mr. Grant. That's sweet. You don't have to ask me to go to the awards. No, 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 no. no. I really want to go with you. You'd be the best date in the world. Aww. Yeah. I don't have to bring you flowers or candy. <laughs> I don't have to talk if I don't feel like it. I don't even have to kiss you. It's just like being married. <laughs> You pretend we're not even here yet, and you go on and finish putting on your makeup. <laughs> I have finished putting on my makeup. <laughs> well, suit yourself. <laughs> Doesn't Sue Ann look terrific tonight? Lovely. Would you believe, Mary? I made this dress. Oh, I'm amazed you were able to find that much material. <laughs> uh, a little scotch for me, neat. Okay, I'll have the same with just a touch of water. Oh. Mm. Nice apartment, Mary. Thank you. Did you uh, decorate it yourself? Yeah, I did. Wow, it's fantastic. Oh, dear Doug. You have been out in the woods too long. <laughs> <laughs> you mind if I look around a bit? No, please, go right ahead. Mary, you have to keep me from being foolish. What do you mean? I feel like a schoolgirl whenever I'm with him. <laughs> Mary, how do you know when you're really in love? Well, Sue Ann, I guess, you know, that differs from person to person. I'll tell you how you know. <laughs> you know you're in love when you totally screw up Hungarian goulash. <laughs> I tried it the other day and I was all thumbs. A simple thing like that. I mean, who could be bothered? A half cup, a whole cup? My cup is running over. Well, well Sue Ann, you, you think it's the real thing, huh? The real thing? Mary, those noodles were burned solid to the bottom of the pan. And I had to go at the gravy with an ice pan. Oh, Sue Ann, that's wonderful. <laughs> I'm really happy for you. That's quite a view. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, shall we drink to the Teddy Awards? Oh, I already have my award. A living, breathing statue of Adonis. Awarded to the woman who best knows what to do with him. <laughs> Would anyone care for some dip? <laughs> Isn't he a wonderful hunk of man, Mary? I, I just, uh, love a good dip. <laughs> so strong, so virile, so... This isn't just any package dip, you realize. Even this is a recipe of my mother's. It's cream cheese, onion, and uh, They don't make cream. men like this they anymore. They don't make dip like this anymore. <laughs> No, I'm going to have to freshen up before anyone else gets here. <laughs> oh. Would you care for some dip? No, thank you. She's quite a woman. Yes, she really is. Quite a woman. <laughs> so are you. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> no, no, uh, I mean it. Uh, listen, maybe I shouldn't say this, but uh, I believe in being honest. You've got it all over, Sue Ann. <laughs> okay, Doug, look, let's just... 
cut this dumb talk right now, all right? Okay. <laughs> Well, that's done. Did I miss anything? No, 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 nothing. No, actually, you did. You see, uh, Mary tried to attack me, but I fought her off. <laughs> Isn't he wonderful, Mary? And he's all mine. <laughs> show you the beautiful ring Doug gave me yesterday. Isn't it lovely? Oh, yes, that's, that's lovely. That's terrific. He carved it out of a peach pit. <laughs> oh, Marie, hi, you look terrific. Oh, thanks, thanks. Uh, hi, everybody. Where's Marie? Uh, well, uh, one of our kids has got a cold. Oh, gee, that's too bad. Yeah, besides, I don't think she wanted to come. I mean, she said I was so nervous, I made her nervous. <laughs> Isn't that silly? I mean, I may be excited, Mary, but I'm not nervous. I mean, you know, nervous is a whole different thing. You want a drink? Don't I have one? No. <laughs> then I would. Scotch and soda, please. Okay. Oh, I'll get it myself. Hey, okay. <laughs> Mary, do you see a little bit of Hi, how you doing? Good to see you. Hi, Tim. Hi, Mary. <laughs> Idea. It was. It's terrific. <laughs> right. Why spend all that money on a gown she's only going to wear once? <laughs> sure, Jeff. Ted, say hello to Doug Callum. Hey, Doug, how you doing? I bet you do look adorable. <laughs> you hear that, Georgia? I don't care what anybody says. I think we look like the top of a gay wedding cake. <laughs> Silly enough already. <laughs> I'll have a cassis and a vermouth with a dash of bitters, uh, two drops of dry sherry, some lime juice, and a green cherry. I don't have bitters. Oh, a glass of water will be fine. <laughs> oh, would you get that, Georgette? Hi, Georgette. Hi, it's a rental. Oh, what's Ted charging you? <laughs> You look cute. Oh, hi, everybody. Hi, hi Lou. Hey, Lou, do you think, uh, you think I'm going to win tonight? I don't know, Ted, but do me a favor. If you lose, don't trip the winner like you did last year. <laughs> hey, that was an accident, Lou. Now, how come the winner trips every time you lose? What a coincidence. Uh, all right, let me have a double scotch. Mr. Grant, I want to talk to you. OK, make it a single. No, no, it's not your drinking I'm talking about. Oh, good. Let me have a double. <laughs> What's wrong? Sue Ann's boyfriend made a pass at me. What? Yeah, while well, she was out of the room, he kissed me. What did you do? I slapped him. I'll kill him. No, Mr. Grant, don't make a scene. I'll kill him quiet. Did <laughs> you at least tell Sue Ann? No. Gonna butt in. She's a grown woman. She can take care of herself. Mr. Grant, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's get back to the party. If you don't want to talk about it, why'd you bring it up? Mr. Grant, I have no time for logic. <laughs> <laughs> and for the best documentary, the nominees are Senior Citizens on Parade, producer Karen Hiller. Police Dogs You Can Trust, A Vanishing Breed, <laughs> producer George Troy, and Water Pollution in Minneapolis, Don't Ask Our Fish to Live in a Ghetto, <laughs> producer Hal Stevens. Yeah, you should have won this award, Mary. Oh, come on, Murray. These are all terrific shows. And the winner is Karen Hiller. <laughs> saw in my life. That's what I like about you, Mary. You're a good loser. <laughs> well, here it comes. The next award is for the best news writer. <laughs> you know, I told my kids that if I win, I'll mention all their names. Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah, if I can only remember them. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Bonnie, Ellen, Susie, and uh, the Vietnamese kid we adopted. Uh, uh, Lee Chin. Uh, yeah, Lee Chin. <laughs> and now the award for the best writer, news or documentary. The nominees are Howard Brenner, KDF-TV, Lester Hawker, Public Service Television, and Murray Slaughter, WJM-TV. And the winner is... 
Lester Hawker. Hi, Bonnie, Ellen, Suki, Lee Chin. <laughs> Murray, you're still the best. Uh, right. We're lucky to have you, Murray. Uh, thanks, Ted. Thanks. Listen, maybe we ought to check this guy, Lester Hawker, out, see if he's available. <laughs> Just a thought. The next category is the best anger man. Okay, okay, everybody, listen. When I win, George, after you throw your arms around me, give me a big kiss. <laughs> the rest of you, just squeal with delight and jump to your feet and applaud. Ted. <laughs> okay, okay, just don't boo. <laughs> Now the award for the year's Outstanding Anchorman. The nominees are Ted Baxter, 6 o'clock news, WJM. Barry Waldron, news close-up, WJR. That's a stiff. <laughs> Hank Denoff, 11 o'clock report, WJR. Turkey. <laughs> please. God, please. <laughs> and the winner is... Barry Waldron, News Close-Up. Look how happy he is. Well, don't look at me. The man's obviously drunk. We'll be right back after this message. Hey, you're the only one left, Sue Ann. Good luck. Sue Ann, did you prepare a speech? Oh, yes. <laughs> I thought I'd, I'd let them enjoy my dimples for a while. And then I thought I would thank my new business partner. Your, your business partner? Yes. Doug and I are going to form our own corporation. A 50-50 business partnership. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> yeah, that, that's great. Wonderful. <laughs> Terrific. Oh, I knew you'd be happy about that. I'm going to go fix my lipstick. I think I still have a few minutes before my category. Uh, Mary, why don't you uh, go with Sue Ann? Oh, gee, Mr. Grant, I don't have to. Yes, you have to. <laughs> you have to. Yes, I guess you're right, I do. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> with you, too, but I'm afraid they kicked me out. I lost, Lou. I'm sorry. I, I wanted you to be so proud of me. It's all right, Ted. It doesn't matter. Thanks. Even if you won, I wouldn't be proud of you. <laughs> Sue Ann, you're going to have to listen to me. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but boy, I just, I can't stand by and see you get hurt. I have to tell you, I just have to. Well, Mary, if my bra strap is showing, why don't you come right out and tell me? Sue Ann, Doug made a pass at me. Oh, listen, Mary. Lots of times, men are used to gesturing with their hands. They put their hands on someone's shoulders and... Well, people with provincial principles tend to misinterpret. Sue Ann, he grabbed me with both arms. Well, you offered him a drink. Perhaps he was just saying thank you. He kissed me. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, Sue Ann, come on, please. Now, who am I to believe? If I go to Doug, I, I know you'll deny it. And Doug is a man who has shared his innermost thoughts. A man who loves me, respects me, understands me. Now, do I believe him or, or someone who has never been really close to me, who has every reason to be jealous, who couldn't make a souffle if her life depended on it? <laughs> Damn it, Mary, I believe you. Oh, I feel so alone. Oh, well, don't feel alone, Sue Ann. I'm, I'm here. I'm... I need comforting, and you don't know what to do. T tell me what to do. I'll do it. <laughs> Take my head and pat it. <laughs> oh, be careful. Don't mess my hair. My category's next. <laughs> <laughs> I 
think we're doing wonderfully for two people who don't like each other. <laughs> so do I. By the way, dear, for those mascara stains on your dress, <laughs> try a dab of petroleum jelly <laughs> before placing them in warm suds with a little bit of baking soda. I will, I will. Oh. Mary, I'm going to have to do something very difficult. I'm going to have to go out there and ditch Dougie. <laughs> what am I going to say to him? You just say to him that you think he is the lowest kind of cheap, unfeeling, money-grubbing parasite, and you never want to see him again. All right. I just hope he doesn't take it the wrong way. <laughs> You know, maybe you folks can help me out because there's something I've never understood. I've been going to these award dinners for years, and it's just two minutes of glory. Why do people feel badly if they don't win? Isn't it more important how you feel about yourself? Don't you get more from a feeling of self-worth than you do from a silly statue? I believe I can answer that. No. <laughs> Sue Ann, your category is next. And good luck to both of us. There is no us. Mary just told me what happened between the two of you. Hey, honey, one kiss. What's oh, the just big go deal? away. Oh, come on, Sue Ann. Don't be silly. Don't, go. Oh, hey, hold don't it you touch They're me. They're going to announce your category. I don't care. Please, honey, Will you please go later. away? You heard what she said, buddy. Go away. <laughs> Who's going to make it? I am. Uh, Mr. Grant. I'll handle this. <laughs> You want to step outside? Yeah, let's go. You got it. <laughs> I had no idea it was so easy. I said, we'll step outside and stepped outside. <laughs> So humiliated. I wish I were dead. No. And now the nominees for the best daytime program are Fred Richter's Exercise Emporium, W O U L, Janet Halperin, Macrame Matinee, W A S, and Sue Ann Nivens, The Happy Homemaker. <laughs> WJM TV. Hey, Sue Ann, the guy was a bum. I, Sue uh, Ann, control no, yourself. He wasn't worthy of you. I don't know. I can't help it. Why? Why did this have to happen to me? I, I haven't anything else to live for. And the winner is Sue Ann Niven. Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, this is... Ted? Yeah, Lou? See that guy over there? Yeah? He's waiting for you. <laughs> Who is he? The guy you tripped. <laughs> I'm pretty upset. Well, don't worry about it. I'll take care of this in two seconds. <laughs> okay, fella, you want to step outside? Yeah. You got it. After you. Thanks. <laughs> oh! <laughs>